Today, we're going to do another 6.5 Creed Bore video. We're going to use the 107 grain Sierra Botel Hollow Point Midway Factory Seconds. So these are the same bullets I used over in the 6.5 Grendel video. If you want a little bit more detail about the bullets themselves, go check that one out. Uh, basically, what I say in that video is these bullets, they're factory seconds. It's kind of hard to see why. The tips maybe are a little bit janky, but I've kind of found that with all Botel hollow point bullets. These bullets are about 26 cents on Midway, so I thought I'd take some of them out, give them a try, see how they shoot. We're going to use Sierra's load data today. They list the minimum loads from 40.1 to 46 grains. We're going to start out at 43.6, work our way up to 44.8, uh, four tenths of a grain increment, using Reloader 17 and the CCI BR2. They list the overall length a little bit too long, in my opinion. With that length, there's just not enough bullet into the case. So we're going to go with 2.750. These bullets, uh, they can't hit the lands of my rifle. The bullet's just not long enough. Not really sure on the uh, jump to the lands. Right, we're going to do five shot groups at 100 yards using my Hornady Brass. Has about six firings on it. We'll get out to the rain, see how they shoot. All right, we're, we're out on the range here with the 107 grain Sierra Mash Kings. Target's at 100 yards. We're going to start out at 43.6 grains, work our way up. This first one's gonna be a four shot group and then after that, five shot groups. It's about 50 degrees out, very little wind, nice day to be shooting. Wow, that was loud. Oh. Next charge is gonna be 44 grains. All right, next group at 44.1 grains. That turn. Not terrible. 44.8 grains. Taking a look at the target here with the 107 factory seconds. The first group at 43.6 grains shot a 1.416 inch, 29.56 feet per second with a 20.8 standard deviation. Looked like it was trying to group, but we kind of threw those up and, up and high and down to the left. Next group at 44.0 grains, 1.759 inches, worst group of the day, 29.87 feet per second, 10.7 standard deviation, best standard deviation of the day. Moving on, 44.4 grains, 1.407 inch, 3,115 feet per second, 26.7 standard deviation. And the last group of the day, best group, 44.8, 1.139 inches, 31.33 feet per second, 19.1 standard deviation. Taking a look at the brass there, nothing to see. We are under Sierra's max loads, didn't expect to see any pressure signs, didn't see any today on the brass. Overall, I'd say this target is about average for my gun. That about an inch to an inch and a half group with uh, average bullets and average loads. I think these are pretty decent for 25 cents. Can't really complain. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.